The performative teach-in that took place on November 11th was a really collaborative effort. And throughout the entire course, Liz and Jale were encouraging us to explore new ways, process information um, outside of traditional academic modes, and really got us to be comfortable with the idea of sharing this information with an audience. So during the performance, we listened to lectures, we processed information. It was really dedicated to demonstrating to the public how we process this information in our class and also invite them to participate in that process and respond to us and with us to these vast issues of wealth disparity in this country. In the last 40 years, government policies have increased the level of inequality, favoring the wealthy over the poor. So I feel like something that was really unique and interesting about this course in particular was being able to be asked to sit through a lecture with Bill Arsenio, um, a professor at Yeshiva University, um, regarding very specific data over the past century regarding wealth and income disparities and inequalities. And then being asked by Liz um, to take that knowledge and take some of those words and then build a dance from it and build an equivalence phrase and sort of build something on top of that. And on top of having the highest rate, we have the highest total number. We have almost 2 million people behind bars at different levels in the United States. The USA has 5% of the world's population and 25% of its prisoners. The USA has 5% of the world's population and 25% of its prisoners. chance to experience a new creative avenue, a new creative expression, and I felt like I gained a greater sense of my body and my ability to reason differently through use of my body um, in new ways. I learned that processing by creating and by making art is a really valid and exciting new way to engage in academic material. And as a student who isn't a dancer, who isn't an artist, learning that there are different and alternative ways of processing and understanding was really liberating, especially as a senior, kind of wrapping up my experience at Wesleyan.